learning radians can be pretty easy. It's a little bit like cutting a pizza. So watch me slice this up. Hey, welcome back. This is Tammy and I do math for coffee. Okay, we have to start by talking about the circumference of the circle first. So starting with the whole circle, the formula for circumference is 2 times pi times the radius. Well, in the unit circle, the radius is 1, so the circumference is going to be 2 pi. Going all the way around this circle one time, that equals 2 pi, and that's radians. That's the basis of radians. The basis of degrees was 360 degrees as a full circle, but in radians, we know a full circle is 2 pi. So let's do a little more with that. The unit circle, we know it has a radius of 1. There are an infinite number of points on the circle, but the unit circle has 16 points that are super interesting. And the very first one is at 0. But 0 is also 2 pi once you go all the way around once. Now I'd like you to split that circle in half. And if you split 2 pi in half, you get pi. Now I'd like you to split the top in half, and if you take pi and divide it in half, you get pi over 2, 1 half pi. Count to yourself 1 pi over 2, 2 pi over 2, 3 pi over 2, that is the fourth point. All right, let's find the rest of the points. We're going to start with this 30 degree angle, and I want you to think about this. You know that this is 180 degrees, and so this whole top part has how many 30 degree angles in it? It has six of them, so that means pi is split into six parts. Well, that means each one of these little sectors is pi over 6. So let's look at the angles. The very first one is 1 pi over 6. The second one is 2 pi over 6, but that's not in lowest terms, and so we're going to put that in lowest terms, and this one is going to be pi over 3. The third point, we already know what that point is, 1, 2, 3 pi over 6s. If you reduce that, it's pi over 2. That should look familiar. The next one, this is 4 pi over 6, 1, 2, 3, 4. We have four sections, so it's 4 pi over 6, also not in lowest terms, so we're going to write it down as 2 pi over 3. The next one, 5 pi over 6. That is in lowest terms, so we'll just leave it there. The next one is 6 pi over 6. This reduces to pi. Then the next one must be 7 pi over 6. This guy down here is 8 pi over 6, also not in lowest terms. So when we do that, it becomes 4 pi over 3, but it started out as 8 pi over 6. I hope you are seeing the easy way to remember this. You just set it up in the 6s and you count. So the next one would be 9 pi over 6, and that reduces to 3 pi over 2. We already met that point before, so okay, but now it still works. Like you can just count up by the 6s and you're going to end up with 3 pi over 2. So the next one should be 10 pi over 6, which reduces to 5 pi over 3. And uh, there it is. <laughs> if you're following the pattern, you know what the next guy is going to be. 11 pi over 6, already in lowest terms. We don't have to do anything more with that. And if we close this circle, we end up at 12 pi over 6, which reduces to 2 pi, which is what we expected, right? This last set of points is going to be based on what happens when you divide this circle up into 45 degree angles, and 180 is the same thing as pi radians. Each sector is going to be pi over 4 in size. So the first radian will be pi over 4. The second one is going to be 2 pi over 4, which needs to be reduced to pi over 2. Again, we know that one already. 3 pi over 4, again, we're counting up. 1 pi over 4, 2 pi over 4, 3 pi over 4. This one's fine. It doesn't need to be reduced. Then 4 pi over 4, and that's going to reduce to pi. Moving down south, we have 5 pi over 4. This one is going to be 6 pi over 4, which reduces to 3 pi over 2. Again, there's repetition here, but depending on how you count up, you're going to land on that point again. That has to be 7 pi over 4. That doesn't reduce. Closing the circle, we end up with 8 pi over 4, which reduces to 2 pi, which is no big surprise, right? All right, let's put it all together. Now for the next thing we need to learn is how to find the coordinates for each one of those points. Watch that video next. 